Hello, what is up? My name is Zen Lennon and welcome to the sales training for beginners series. Today is going to be a reflection update. It is in fact my day 30 joining a community called hashtag brand 30. This is by Andrew Muburn. And I wanted to share a few things that I've learned in the last 30 days. So the first question I want to cover is how have I improved as a creator and a personal brand builder in the last 30 days? Number one, time constraints. In the last 30 days, actually 60 days, but 30 days, I am now able to finish five videos, record five videos in under 30 minutes. And you can see this in a lot of my YouTube videos. You'll see I'm in the same outfit covering the same topic, but I'm breaking it down into different videos schedule out throughout the week. And this is great because I have a full-time job and I also don't want to get burnt out. And that's why I schedule a lot of my calls or my recordings on the weekend. And the good news is it only takes me about 30 minutes to complete all those recordings. So that is what I learned. It's called the Pomodoro technique. Check out the video here. I learned this from Andrew Mugorn's time constraint because he said that you should try to finish things within 30 minutes and give yourself permission to create junk. And that's exactly what I'm doing. All right, number two. So as a creator, I have learned how to remix different content, my best content. And I define the best content as most engagements, most comments, thoughtful comments, most useful content for the community. And I will know that they are useful because I usually get people direct messaging me about those content to expand on them, which is great. So I'll be creating more videos around the most useful content. And I learned that from Brand30, which is to be data-driven and to build using data and listening, tuning into the community. So number three, I have learned how to build my personal brand on YouTube as a way of using LinkedIn. And so last month, uh, my external source of traffic, my highest, my number one source of traffic was LinkedIn. And I had 28% coming from LinkedIn. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to announce that LinkedIn is still my number one source of traffic. And I have 53.7% of professionals coming into YouTube from LinkedIn. Let me show you the traffic. And there you go. Ta -da! Not sure if you're able to see this. Oh, yeah. 53.7%. And that is way above Facebook and Google search, which is pretty cool. So I would like to reflect on the advice I would like to give myself from 30 days ago. So you, Zen, from 30 days ago, uh, this is what you should not do. Okay. Number one, don't overthink it. I know that sometimes you're thinking too much, you're researching too much, you're vetting too much. And in a way, it's kind of distracting because if you're spending hours on end consuming and researching and planning, you end up not creating the content that you actually want. Just let it go. <laughs> Continue to experiment in front of people and just hit post. Get your dopamine fix by clicking post and don't think too much about views. Don't think too much about metrics and likes and vanity metrics. If your content is valuable, the audience 
will tell you via direct message or email and that's all that matters okay so don't think too hard don't overthink it number two okay so this month you got kind of lazy zen you did not do your compound post and you have to do your compound posts. That's the number one thing that Andrew Muborn asked us to do. And so you have to do this so that you could let people know of your journey. Otherwise, people won't know why you're actually hashtagging brand 30. So make sure you do the compound posts. It helps a lot. So people can keep track of your experiments and the topics that you're talking about. They do help. Number three, okay, so 30, 60 days ago, I was engaging a lot. Like, I think I was spending 30 minutes, maybe sometimes an hour engaging on post. This time, I told myself, I can't engage too much because, you know, we're very busy, but engage at least three times, three posts, and give it your best shot. Like, don't just say like, I love this great post, amazing post, like it doesn't really provide value. Instead, when you are creating content and adding those comments on other people's posts, make sure you provide valuable tips that their audience can also learn from. And so I did this for the last 30 days, three posts, engaging comments that I took my time to actually you know, really think about what I'm going to say. And I don't actually know if it did well or not. It's hard for me to track because I don't have a tool for that. So this is a shout out to Shield app. If you could create some kind of feature that could track whether a comment is actually getting some kind of engagements on other people's posts, that would be kind of cool. Might be difficult because it's not your post, but yeah, just an idea. Okay, so the final thing here is I did not use Shield app, as I've said earlier, um, because I'm looking for a free option. Hey, I like to be frugal and I like to live below my means. So <laughs> if there are any free options out there, community, do let me know if you're using anything else that's similar to Shield app that is free. I would appreciate that tip very, very much. So this time around, instead of using Shield app, I did use YouTube Analytics. So let's get into it. So what are some of the things that we achieved in the last 30 days with Brand30? So here we go. And boom. So... On October 27, 2021, I didn't want to announce this until today, we did get monetized. So, yay! Big shout out to the community, Brand30, and a huge, huge shout out to my friend, Paul Andre Devera. Paul Andre is the reason why I started my YouTube channel. And he has helped me so much with keywords and YouTube search engine optimization and all of the cool things that you are teaching me. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You are an influencer. You're making an impact in our community and you are one of the best search engine optimization gurus. I know and I'm so lucky to be your friend. Thank you, Paul Andre Devera. If for those of you who don't know who he is, check out his uh, profile. It is right here. So as you can see, we did get monetized and we have a CPM of $52.93. And here's the definition of a CPM. I'm mm -hmm. still learning how this whole monetization thing works, but what really surprised me is I now have an idea on what content is valuable for professionals. And so here's just a quick insight on CPMs. So as you can see, I'm kind of focused more on the CPMs and I, I blocked out some of the revenue because those are distractions at the moment. The most important thing is the CPM because this will 
tell me that these videos are costing for advertisers, they're spending $300 just to be advertised on this particular video. It makes total sense that my PandaDoc and Stripe integration would cost around $300. The point of this is I'm going to start showing demonstrations of software as a service products because our professional community finds a lot of value in that. So in addition to sales tips, I'm going to start showing demonstrations as well. So if you are interested in learning any demos of any software out there, do let me know and I'll research it and do my best to show you a quick demonstration of them, but I will first show demonstrations of products that I use personally, and I'll give you my own hacks and tips on things that make me go boom, <laughs> things that help me produce 10 times faster than your average account executive. So that is it for today. I want to give a big shout out to Brand30 and the community. Thank you so much for your engagement, for your retention, if you're still around until this very end. I'm very, very grateful for your time. Thank you. Do come back. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like the video, hit the like button and hit it again. <laughs> Algorithm stuff. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time.